Hello everyone, this is Adnan with CANF's uh, training videos. This is part 7 of the Citrix NF 6.5 training. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you application publishing. Um, <clears throat> now, application publishing basically it's of two types. There are some other uh, they, there are some other subtypes as well, but majorly there are two types: hosted application or streamed application, or we call them application streaming as well. Uh, hosted application, the major major difference: both both are applications to start with. Both will be published in the NAP server, and both application both type of applications will be accessed by clients. So this, these are three common things in in these applications. So number one, both will be application. Number two, both will be published. Number three, clients will access them uh, from the NAP server. The only difference is uh, hosted application. When hosted application is used by the client. Uh, Zenapp server resources are used. So CPU and RAM of Zenapp server is used instead of the client resources while application is being used. Whereas in streaming, uh, CPU and RAM of client is used while the application is being uh, while the application is being accessed. So let's get started with uh, our lab. Now you need to download uh, first of all any application. First of all, make sure your environment is fine. Here I do have just one application, Notepad, which we just installed. So if if I want to install, if I want to publish just a very simple application that already exists on this computer, so I'll start with one application. All you need to do publish application. <coughs> Secondly. What is the name of the application? So the name of my application is WordPad. Now in WordPad case, I don't need to install this application because WordPad exists on all machines and it is part of Windows. So in this case, this is the most simplest application to be published just like a notepad. Uh, <coughs> you go next. And here I'm going to later on go into these two other types, server, desktop, or content as well. For now, it's just an application, and it is accessed from the server. This is where the difference is. This application that you are publishing, it will be a hosted application. Whereas if I would have selected this, then it will be a streamed application. Streamed application I'm going to cover in another video. For now, let's see hosted application. So it is an application. It will be accessed from the server. Secondly, what is the command line for this? Now there are a few ways to find out the command line. You can just write the WordPad and it will work because WordPad is part of the Windows. But it's always a good practice to, to give a full command. So the other way, first you can type just the name. It will work just in case of WordPad, not in case of all other applications. But in case of WordPad or any other application, all I all we need to do just search for WordPad. Okay, you searched it. So this WordPad is right here. All you need to do is right click. So with this icon, not with this, you might not have this one. Uh, with, with this icon, you need to go to properties, and within properties, this is where the target is. So this is actually the com complete command line for this. Copy this, and then in the command line, just paste this. And in working directory, working directory is uh, is the folder path starting from percentage sign excluding the quotes so percentage sign till the end of this folder name excluding the file name so you just copy this here this is your working directory so you see I'm not including uh, the file name or the quotes so excluding quotes next here which server it will be available on we have two servers you can make it available on one server or both server it's up to you so i'm going to make it available on both servers now later on i'm going to give you some more details about why you would not want to uh, include other servers and in some cases just include one server two server or some specific server uh, well for a quick for a quick understanding let's say wordpad is not available on second server and wordpad is an application that is only available on this server in that case i would only include one i don't want to include two so that's one basic reason for now wordpad is available on both so i'm going to add them 
next here which users will have access to this for now I'm gonna leave it anonymous for everyone who can access or you can always go select users from the domain and then give them access for now simplicity I just wanna give anon anonymous mean anyone can access this application so here you can change the icon if you want uh, just to show a different icon because uh, you do have wordpad in all these machines uh, let's use an icon I already used that icon uh, previously uh, here let's say so let's use this icon so this will be the icon for our application and this is the place if you want to show it under any folder in in web uh, in, in web interface if you want to show it any under any folder in web interface let me this machine is hung I'm just restarting in web interface you can write that folder name here let's say I'm gonna say that this is under a create a folder called Cetrex and slash applications application so what it will do it will create a f under Cetrex folder it will create another folder called application inside it will host it will show this application on clients for now we're not selecting these I'm just saying this if you need a shortcut on the desktop it can create a shortcut as well so next you can keep that application disabled to start with maybe you want to test you want to make more configuration changes you can disable it initially and you can always enable it for now I'll just keep it enabled and next and my application is ready as soon as this application is ready all you need to do go on to the client machine login let's log in and let's see because <coughs> we already configured the Citrix site services on these clients so this uh, Citrix receiver should be should automatically be able to log in in this machine it should automatically be able to log in and should automatically load so it already loaded this see this it is because our Citrix receiver is working and the Citrix receiver automatically brought in uh, this machine here uh, sorry brought in this application if you need to start it now you can see it here because we select a short to create a shortcut and secondly so it opened it opened a session and we're gonna we can confirm that from Zen Observer. and secondly what I want to show you it this is also created under it created a folder called application and it is under there this is why we said Citrix slash application it can place in the folder and just to confirm this session all you need to do go here on the application see the connected user it I can see just one connected user and it is from uh, server is this it is being accessed from the second server so what it did it automatically saw where we made the application on Citrix 1 but since both servers had the application ZDC automatically connected the user to the second server as you can see and it is being accessed from this client so it gives you some <coughs> uh, it gives you some information okay so this is this is a very simple application publishing in the next video I'm gonna show you I'm gonna go into more detail about uh, a, about another application that we need to download and install in a special way and then publish it so guys I would say as a practice uh, you can publish uh, some application in the same manner just publish calculator uh, notepad MS paint snipping tool uh, wordpad we already did you can also publish some of these applications as well uh, actually so for now just just do calculator and note notepad is already here if you don't have it just do MS paint the only thing you need to know about publishing application is how to get the path and name of the application so you right click on this and then properties so this is your path and this is the name of the file
because this is your working directory that's the only if you know how to take out that this uh, know this location you can publish any other application so I'll take two quick minutes and I'm gonna publish calculator just to show you so again publish application next we'll call it cal calculator next it is application next command line so this command line I'm gonna get it from here accessories right here properties copy this and then paste it and then we're gonna use this working directory as this next it is available on both servers so connect all next and it's available to all the users next you can change the icon if you want you can put a desktop icon and done and finish so it is published now on the client side if it is not here all you need to do is uh, go into the Citrix receiver here go into preferences or you can also go here actually in preferences let's go to preferences because sometimes um, you can refresh it uh, right from right from the receiver it's opening yes it's open all you need to do go into the plugin and say refresh applications so once you say refresh application this application appeared so guys this is how you do publish uh, publish a hosted application in the next video I'm going to show you another application being published in slightly different manner thank you for watching this video I'm going to see you in the next video